welcome back it's me from my next creation and thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for this year round it has not been an easy year for definitely those that may be talking about what to call 2022 we have a few days to close off this year and definitely we usher in a new year that is 2023 uh, which is going to be a remarkable day but uh, a remarkable yeah definitely for most of us or most of you that have had what we call plans at the end of it all and still something that we are definitely i need to let you know is about what we have uh, our uh, qatar uh, uh, 2022 and you remember it was the fifa world cup seasons for those that benefited out of the fifa world cup seasons especially for those that we are able, able to manage to come into the country to have a share of the fifa world cup jobs that was on three months and six month contract that was well and good for those that missed out uh, remember it's never all it's never the end of it all remember every day new challenges coming in and every day new opportunities coming in and uh, definitely I I, I I i want to assure you the other new opportunities or new opportunities are going to come in and definitely uh, just get prepared or just prepare yourself such that when this opportunity definitely finds you uh, you're going to be uh, on one among those first people that will receive it uh, in 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 in, in will receive it uh, and that's what I have to let you know uh, definitely we talk about for those people that definitely had the share of the World Cup you got whatever it was and uh, I think most of you have got further opportunities out and those that have not got opportunities is still yet not what you call the end of the road and that is what I have to let you know it was a very busy uh, month from 20th of November until December 18th for those people that were in the country. Remember, when you talk about these opportunities, yes, one opportunity gets, another opportunity comes in. We have other opportunities that are going to come into the country. We have the Asian Cups, it will be coming. Uh, that will be also global and also need more people to come in security cleaners and the other rated jobs in hospitality, which may be advertised or which kind of contracts may be given to particular companies to recruit at one or the other. And I'm, I'm sure that will be another opportunity that will come in. We have uh, Expo Doha that is uh, still 2023. We'll also have that opportunity also is going to come in and people are going to be recruited or people will get the opportunity to come into the country. But right now, let us try to talk to people. Let us try to talk about the people that have been in the country for what you call three months or six months contract. Yes, I know most of you, you came into the country and you did not know the type of visa that you had. You had what you call an higher visa and that higher visa was only related to what you call the World Cup and it was three months or six months depending on what kind of contract or what kind of quota that the government gave to what you call that company that recruited you or that company that you came with for that particular role that you had today at one moment of time. Yes, we do understand how much difficult it has been, especially for, for some of you. The people were lucky enough, they got what you call IDs, what you call the recent permits, uh, and you've had those recent permit and um, that those that were not lucky that did not get the residence permit uh, because for you to have a residence permit in here in Qatar you definitely need to go what you call under medical you need to take a medical then after medical you take what you call fingerprints and what you after taking the fingerprints definitely they will approve or they will give you what you call a residence permit a residence permit means that you are allowed to stay in the country legally uh, legally and you're allowed to work in the country however for the case of people who did not get still IDs at that moment of time, it was just the company decision or the company that recruited you. It did not want to do that at a time. And even to, to definitely pay the those that came on six months and the those that came on three months. And I believe most of the people that, some people, the companies that came on six months, they made sure that the people have what you call IDs for that particular role. But remember when you are coming to the country, you signed what you call there was a contract and there was actually uh, clauses that you are governing to the country in one way or the other, uh, the governing you with your employer who is recruiting you at work. But remember, something that good we cannot talk about, uh, most of you, you'll agree with me, you had a very good salary which was even double what other people are getting on the same role uh, that are having what you call under what you call work sponsorship of the two years, whatever they may be in that company where you been recruited to subcontract of that contract of what you call the three months or what you call the FIFA World Cup Qatar 
2022. Now, something that really uh, is kind of maybe making people's heads pain up is what you call the NOC. Remember, I told you for you to change or to go to any other job here in Qatar, sometimes you need to have what you call a no objection certificate. It's an objection certificate or what you call a release letter. It will release you, it will give the powers the next person to recruit you or to take over your sponsorship at one way or the other. And it has been very hard for some people who were willing to stay in the country, especially after the FIFA World Cup jobs, uh, to get that NOC. Why? It is just to it. This you're not going to blame it on the country or the government or the, the, the country itself. But remember the country when I was giving out visas to some of these employers, these, these companies, there are conditionalities and quotas that were being allocated to them and uh, the guidelines they are supposed to follow. So the rest of things were supposed to be to your employer or the person or the company that recruited there. Those that work tooth and nail. And what they will tell you is that get what you call an employment offer. When you get an employment offer from another company that's willing to take you off, then we can give you what we call we can give you what we call an noc or a no objection certificate then you can look up a job of that company that give, given you an offer letter can take over you as its new sponsor at one or the other remember short of failing to 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 deliver what we call uh unemployment letter an employment an employment offer from another company then that means that your company or your company has to repatriate you back to the point of destination or uh from the point where it located you from and the point where it recruited from recruited you from is what you call the nearest airport in your country that you came from and that is exactly that what happens so what is the situation right now that if you've not especially i'll go to those people that have not been able to secure what you call an unemployment offer remember still when you're looking for an employment offer you need to understand the mathematics you need to understand the mathematics with it yes there are a lot of people that are willing to give uh, but remember, that person will give you an employment offer for to secure I, I know, see, he's not good. He may not give you the job, but just you may get that employment offer just to secure NOC. The rest of the part will be left to you is to look for a job for yourself, to look for a job for yourself which is going to secure you in one way. And there are some people who are actually sending what we call freelancer visa for those people that you know. Definitely, when types of this freelancer visa, definitely they come in, they have their own advantages and disadvantages, and definitely, you understand that in one way or the other, you either you may face up there are some challenges in the start, and the other you may not face up the challenges. And those that have not been able uh, to get that opportunity, and you have to go back. Remember, some of you have deadlines of 26th of December or even up to January 2nd that you have to exit the country. Then definitely, the only way that you have to do is to first exit the country in an amicable way. You exit the country. Then, if there is an recruitment agency or there is a new recruitment then you can come into the country make sure that you save aside you put aside some funds that when that opportunity again comes in you don't have to move around to look for commission you definitely become one of the first person to take up the opportunity remember the biggest chance chance that you already have that you have what you call a gulf experience and when you apply to that jail uh recruitment agencies wherever the opposition or the opportunity will be advertised then you will be you are sure that you'll be cons uh, considered as first priority because already you have what you call the gaff experience in one way or the other but still something that i need to also to let you know that please don't hesitate if you are supposed to go out of the country please move if you you've gotten something to do that is well and good if you've not gotten the country then definitely make sure you exit do not do anything that is beyond that that you say i'm going to hide i'm saying remember right now according to the accord that was signed for the fifa world cup uh, visas any overstay after the date that is permitted to is going to be an overstay of 200 katarian which is practically per day which is quite very hard so if you tentatively think that i'm going to hide i'm going to do this you remember you are going to pay an overstay of 200 katarian per day in case you are got in that format so it will be advisable once you fail up to do to, to look the opportunity then probably the company will give you what you call the return ticket you will go then you rearrange yourself you come back in what you call new ad advertise opportunities or new advertisements that will come in remember even some of the companies are still surrounded are still stranded with what you call the workers the overload of the, the employees that they recruited during the fifa world cup so they need to clear up so meaning that 
we are actually anticipating that the normal recruitment process or we are actually anticipating that the normal recruitment process of it all will come back to normal uh, at around maybe January of uh, 15 or mid of January that we ha shall have the process of it all. But still also you need to, to understand that we are in what we call the festival season that is the end of the December festival season and the new year. So you definitely understand that uh, the mathematics and the, uh, the, 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 the science between there, it will be like around the 15th of January. That's when you will expect some companies to get to recruiting again in one or the other. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Uh, thank you. Something but still you need to understand that if you go to a company and it gives you a leak, uh, an offer letter, then it is telling you it's going to give you what you call, uh, apply for you what you call a free lines and visa. Yes, it may give you an offer letter. That offer letter that company is giving you, it is not going to give you the job. You may either, this, if there is an opportunity in that company, you can work for that company. If there is no opportunity in that company, you definitely have to look for your job because that offer letter is only helping you to secure what you call an NOC from this, from this company, from your current company that, we, that is requesting you to have it as a requirement before it can return you back to your country. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It makes always. Thank you so much for the support and thank you so much. I'll always give you the updates. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time and you've not subscribed to this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. By the way, do not forget to click up the, uh, the notification bell because it will always be very important for you to get updates whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.